Hey guys, as per the title of today's video, of course, we are going to talk additional BoxyCharm possible spoilers based on a survey that our friend and fellow charmer Sally Ezekiel sent over my way. Sally, thank you so much for sending over all those screenshots. Now we have more tea uh, and, and we're gonna see what happens. Let's talk about it. I keep doing these because you guys like to know what is going on in surveys. Not everyone is receiving the surveys. So it gives you an idea as to what BoxyCharm has in mind to potentially add into boxes. Do all the items eventually show up in boxes? No, but most of them do. So that's something to keep in mind, which is why we've started talking about the survey uh, uh, situations, you know, the survey, the survey products, because being realistic, Joe sold BoxyCharm to Ipsy. And at this point, um, spoilers aren't what they used to be. And I think that was one of the charmers like favorite things about BoxyCharm and what helped them stand out was the fact that finding spoilers was just fun. Talking about them was fun. Speculating was fun. Now I know talking about survey products is not quite the same. However, at least it's something, right? You guys still enjoy it, so we're gonna keep doing it. Again, these are all of Sally's screenshots. They're not all necessarily going to be in the proper order. So please thank Sally in the comment section below. It's just really nice that she took the time to screenshot everything and send it over my way so that I can share it with you guys. And before I dive on into it, I wanna make it clear, there are so many screenshots and this video would be way too long. So I'm gonna tell you what each product is and then I'll say which one I would like out of all of it. That's basically what I'm gonna do. Feel free to uh, chime on in the comment section as we're going and just say, oh, okay, for this one, I would like that one. For this one, I would like the other. You know what I mean? Act like you're taking their survey because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so first things first, the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Palette. It's a blush palette or the Rare Beauty Discovery Eyeshadow Palette. Hmm, I would go with Rare Beauty. I've been impressed with a few of their items, so I'd like to try it. I haven't tried their formulas yet. Next, we have the Beauty Bakery The Butter Primer or the KVD Beauty Cake Pencil Eyeliner. I would go with KVD Beauty, but I thought they changed their name and it's no longer KVD Beauty, it's just KVD. Am I wrong? Let me know, um, cause They've changed the name I don't know how many times. I have a travel size of it. It is super matte and it's very, like the formula is very thick, but I like it. Cause once it sits, it doesn't go anywhere. So I would choose that one. Next we have the Mented Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick or the Pound Cake Cake Butter Liquid Lipstick. I would go with the Mented. Demented. <laughs> Then we have the Alpha H Balancing Cleanser or the La Rousse Beauty 3-Piece Contour Brush Set. I would go with the Alpha H because I feel like this La Rousse I've already received before. I could be wrong, but I feel like I have. Uh, Kat Berkey Nutrient C Eye Cream or the Complex Culture Overtime Contour and Blush Duo. I would go with the Blush Duo. I haven't tried that and I've actually heard really good things about it. K Voss NYC Perfecting Potion or the Girlactic 3-in-1 Lip Sparkle Balm Duo. There's a duo, I have one of them. I don't have both. I would probably go with the duo. Lime Crime Sun-Kissed Glimmering Skin Sticks. What the heck is that? Or the Luxie All-Purpose Sponge Set. That sponge set is beautiful, but I would go with Lime Crime just cause I have no idea what it is and I'd be curious about it. Glimmering Skin Sticks. Seems like it's just like, two highlighters seems like highlighters like in like deodorant packaging kind of that sounds so awful but i think that's what it is i don't know not a deodorant just you know highlighter for the face or body hmm. oh 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 okay then we have the artist couture love sprung palette or the aceology firming treatment mask i for sure i'm gonna go with makeup uh that looks like it could be a blush palette because of the three shades. It looks pretty. I would definitely go with the Artist Couture. Next, we have the Persona Cosmetics Swipe Up Brow Gel or the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Long Wear Eye Pencil. I have the Fenty Beauty. It's actually really nice, just as good as the KVD. If anything, it seems like the same kind of formula. So if you haven't tried it, that's one to try. And it will sit and not budge. The only thing is you really have to go, it's not as creamy as you would think. So you really have to go in and just kind of go back and forth, but it builds. And then once it sets, it's not going anywhere. Then we have the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette or the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. Ugh, I want both. 
I would want both. If I had to choose in a whim, because they obviously are not gonna allow you to choose both, I would go with Lunar Beauty just because it's a nice shadow palette. Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil or Sandbar Eyeshadow Primer. Of course, the eyeshadow primer solely because I don't need another body oil. Corez, the Santorini Grape Poreless Skin Moisturizer or Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Ultra Pure Facial Oil. I would go with Corez. Here's, here's a good one. So they have a handful of options. You have several of the Huda Beauty palettes, and then they also have a Natasha Denona Ardor Cheek Duo. I would go with Natasha Denona solely because I pretty much have all of the uh, Huda Beauty palettes. Just saying, like these little ones, I pretty much have them all. And Dota Spa Organics Hydrating Lip Balm, no, automatic no. Nabla Shine Theory Lip Gloss in Renaissance, no. And then Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. I think I already have that, but I would I would want that so that I can share it with one of you guys. Lawless, the Baby One Mini Eyeshadow Palette or Bread Macadamia Oil. Bread? Ma that would make me hungry. Bread and macadamia? I would go with the Lawless Eyeshadow Palette, of course, because it's an eyeshadow palette and I'm an eyeshadow whore. This is a hard one. Then we have Iconic London Brow Silk or the Dominique Cosmetics Silk Tone Cream Blush. I want them both. I w okay, and then the blush is cream. So, <sighs> I really wanna try the brow silk. This, oh my God. Okay, uh, for this I'm gonna say both and then um, I would probably just go to the, ev the event and pay for the additional item because I want it. Next we have the Herfibor Bacochial Kiel, is that how you say? Bacochial Retinal Alternative Smoothing Serum, Murad Sensitive Skin Soothing Serum, Murad Skin Smoothing Polish, or the Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel. I feel like I have every single one of these here in my house, like right now. So I would say none. Then we have the Honest Co. Magic Beauty Balm Stick, no. One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in Translucent, or Ultimate Setting Powder and Dark Deep. I would probably go with Translucent. Clearly that's the one that I would choose because the other items are the Playa Menoy Milk Leave-In Conditioner or the Nabla Shine Theory Lip Gloss. Uh, I, I can do with another, without another lip gloss. I literally have two drawers here stuffed with lip glosses that I'm obsessed with. We have the New Co. The Pill All-in-One Serum or the Som Institute Transport Exfoliating Pads. I would do the exfoliating pads. There's nothing like a good exfoliating pad to just... Then we have the Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Duh, the foundation. I have owned it, I had to dump it because she expired, but if they're gonna put foundations in a box, I want it because the formula is beautiful. You get medium full coverage, a little bit is gonna go a very long way. I just featured this in my favorites, obsessed with it. So anything Charlotte Tilbury, hell yes. And by the way, I suspect Charlotte Tilbury will be featured somewhere in 2022. Natasha Tanona has been in boxes on and off for quite some time now, so I would cross my fingers that Charlotte Tilbury finally starts making it into these boxes because everyone needs to try Charlotte. That way you guys understand why I'm so obsessed with her. Then we have the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush. It's a palette or the Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding Eyeshadow Palette. You know what? This is one of those things where it's like whatever. I feel like maybe one of these has been featured in a box before. I don't recall whether I've received it or not. No, I'm lying. I've received the Pudding Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like I have or it was in a previous box. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to skip this category, but you guys let me know what you think. Here we have a ton of stuff. Okay. So they have the Beauty Crop Lip Gloss. They have Eloise Beauty Get Gleaming. That's been in a box before. Oh, these are repeats. Are they? Yeah. I'm not even gonna get into it like that so much because it's a cluster of product. But what do you guys feel about repeats? Like, are you cool with receiving repeats if you would like backups of an item and you knew for sure that you're gonna get a repeat that you wanted? Or you're like automatically Xing out, hell no, I don't want any repeats. That's not what I'm paying for a box for. I really wanna hear your thoughts on that. The, okay, here's another one. These have been, most of these have been in boxes. Okay, so for instance, Dragon Beauty was just in a box. I wouldn't say no to that because I would love a backup, but I know a lot of people would be like, hell no. They have the Dominique Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Crush. Love it, I have it. It's really great. Yeah, they have. They're, they're showing some repeats here. They have House Labs. Yeah, okay. Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream or the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body Serum. They have Aether Beauty Desert Sunset Eyeshadow Palette again. 
They have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, which I'm not sure if that's been featured before. I haven't received it, so I'm not sure. Maybe it was a variant, because I know for a fact that I didn't get it. And then they have the Pro Solstice Palette by Visart. What do you guys think about repeats? Now the Natasha Denona Ardor Eyeshadow Palette. That's something that we talked about in the previous kind of like spoiler uh, survey video. Everyone's saying you can't find it. You're researching. You want to see what the exact shades in the pan are going to be. No one can find it. It is very possible that the palette is specifically going to be featured on the BoxyCharm box, meaning made for BoxyCharm. So I'm not 100% sure. And then they have the Dose Posh Powder Palette. I have that. I have that here. It's really nice. I got it in um, Ipsy though. So that tells you something. Complex Cultures Future So Bright Eyeshadow Palette. It's pretty, I haven't tried it. They have Cella, they have, ooh, Ofra's Eyeshadow Palettes, Aesthetica. So the Visar Bronzer we've seen, I think we've seen before. So people may not be happy about that. Or the Visar Setting Powder, because those have been seen before. The QMS Eye Serum, I feel like that has been in a box before, but it could have been a different product. The thing about it is a lot of times, like the packaging is kind of like the same, so you never really know until you receive it and you have it like in front of you to compare. Um, but I feel like that has been featured maybe over a year ago in previous boxes. Here's something that I haven't received through BoxyCharm and a lot of people want to see more complexion, so I think it's awesome, that they have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Of course, when it comes to BoxyCharm, they allow you to choose whether or not you want that complexion product. And then on top of that, you're able to choose the shade that you get. That way you can't get mad that they didn't send you a shade that works for you. You choose the shade that's going to work for you. Of course, you would have to like research that in advance. So keep in mind, if there's any like foundations like the Charlotte Tilbury or the ABH one, start doing your research now. Save it like in a post-it note on your phone or something like that. That way, if it were to come up as choice, you're able to just revisit that and say, oh, this is my shade, and then choose the shade that you want if you're gonna choose a complexion item. The thing about it is, BoxyCharm is no longer showing you in advance. They haven't done it in quite some time. What your choice items are gonna be. It's kind of like a little surprise. You log in and poof, there goes your choices. So, you know, you wanna be prepared because I'm very positive that the complexion items are gonna go like this. So if there's a particular shade you want, you wanna make sure you know exactly which one you're gonna want when you log in because the longer you wait, more than likely that shade will sell out. And then the last one in this photo is the Skin Ink Serum Glow Filter. It is a skincare item. I am noticing that they created clusters of like, hey, what would you like to see, right? But the clusters were mainly skincare, which is great. So they just wanna get a better idea as to whether or not it's something that you wanna see in boxes. But notice that the survey is showing more makeup than before. That makes me so happy. The previous survey also showed a nice balance of skincare and makeup. So to be fair, I think this year will be a year where you're gonna get more makeup over the skincare. They're finally listening to us and I think that is freaking awesome. I'm so happy about that. Now they're making me reconsider whether or not I should reopen my subscriptions. This is because I want to make choices too. And I would like to get first dibs at the events. So I don't know. I'm considering it. I'm going to think about it. Those were all the screenshots that Sally sent over my way. I really hope that you guys have been commenting as we go. 2022 seems like it may be a really, really good year for BoxyCharm. I don't know. And Charmers. And Charmers. I'll be taking the next hour to respond to you guys' comments. Make sure you hit that like button for me. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.